Taylor uh, in, inducted me into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and she sang my song, Will You Love Me Tomorrow? So I have to go. Play is gonna play, 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 play. Haters gonna hate, 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 hate. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I shake it off, I shake it off. The Swifties are in their grassroots campaign era. Though Taylor Swift still hasn't endorsed any candidate for president in 2024, on Tuesday, August 27th, the Swifties for Kamala Coalition officially launched their kickoff call, which included special guests such as Carol King, Senator Elizabeth Warren, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, and raised over $120,000 in donations. Taylor has no affiliation with the group and was not involved in the virtual rally, which had over 34,000 participants. But that didn't stop the coalition from having some fun with Swift-related puns and singing along to her tunes. In fact, Carol King performed a rendition of the global pop star's hit song, Shake It Off, which she earlier revealed is her favorite song. For, and I want to say my favorite song is Shake It Off. I think I love the spirit of it, right? Taylor uh, in, inducted me into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and she sang my song, Will You Love Me Tomorrow? So I have to go. Play is gonna play, 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 play. Haters gonna hate, 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 hate. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I shake it off, I shake it off. Carol also spoke about her relationship with Taylor. So first of all, I am a Swifty, and uh, Taylor and I are actually friends. We have, you know, had, had conversations backstage and um, you know, I see her as like sort of my musical and songwriting granddaughter and, and we have a, a lovely relationship and I'm so proud of her. As a political activist, the 82 year old also stressed the power of listening as she gave advice for door knocking and volunteering. The key to door knocking is asking a good question and then listening. And then depending on what the person says, you speak your heart. Um, if they're a little ambivalent, um, you know, but they tell you, well, I'm not sure about Kamala. Um, here's a great bridge builder, because you're there to build a bridge. The bridge builder is, well, what do you think you and Kamala might agree on? And then you listen. But you, you see how it works. You're building a bridge to that person. And I remember having this experience when I was campaigning as a, a surrogate and a door knocker for John Kerry, who is a friend of mine. I've known him for years. And so I, you know, knock on a door and a guy with a John Deere cap comes out and I figure he's probably not a Kerry guy, but, um, you know, I asked the questions and spoke from the heart. And by the end of that conversation, because I listened, because I asked questions that invited him in, when I left, he said, I'm voting for your guy. Meanwhile, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand recited some Swifty jokes. I have a number of, of Swifty jokes for you. Um, I'm gonna read them because they're, my staff just wrote them and they're really funny. Okay, karma's a relaxing thought, but for Donald Trump, it's not. Facts. Um, <laughs> If you're allowed to vote, say, say, say. Good one. Uh, we can't stop, won't stop voting, so shake it off. That's a good one. Uh, Kamala is saying, look what you made me do. Good one. Kamala is saying, who's afraid of little old me? Excellent ones. Elsewhere in the call, Senators Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren revealed their favorite songs. Hello, Swifties. It is so good to be here with all of you. I am calling in from Milwaukee because I've been out for the last two days out there for Kamala Harris to make her president of the United States. So let me just start by saying um, I know how many things there are to do on a Tuesday evening. So thank you all for spending it with us, helping get Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walls elected. Thank you. So let me start with my favorite song. I love karma. I have a thing or two to say about private equity. Uh, and when I have time, all too well, 10 minute version, you bet. Now, my favorite Taylor song may surprise you. Snow on the beach. Weird, but beautiful. And something we know a little bit 
about in my home state of Massachusetts. Uh, because in Massachusetts, we also know that climate change is threatening our favorite phenomena. The waters on the shores of Taylor's Holiday House in New England are some of the fastest warming waters in the world outside of the Arctic. So there are just five fortnights until Election Day. But we are not out of the woods yet. And so, as we know from the last solar eclipse, Donald Trump will stare directly in the sun, but never in the mirror. So we have our work ahead of us to make sure we defeat this anti-hero wannabe, or as I like to call him, Mr. Casually Cruel, Mr. Everything Revolves Around You. In the words of Taylor Swift, I never trust a narcissist. And this narcissist in chief clearly doesn't know enough about karma or what I like to call the infinite organizing power of the Swifties on this Zoom call. In 2020, Taylor endorsed President Joe Biden. In an Instagram post from that year, Taylor wrote, I spoke to at V Magazine about why I'll be voting for Joe Biden for president. So apt that it's come out the night of the VP debate. Going to be watching and supporting at Kamala Harris by yelling at the TV a lot. And I also have custom cookies.